morning you guys and welcome back to another vlog i figured i'd go ahead and bring you along this weekend we have a lot planned the browns are in the playoffs so we're actually thinking about going to watch the game over at our friends tonight which will be fun and we may go skiing we're kind of waiting to see what the weather ends up doing because we're having a crazy windstorm today um but we already bought our passes and everything so fingers crossed that they don't close the lift it's also our first time skiing so also kind of nervous to be doing it during a windstorm but we'll see if everything plans out i'm hoping it does because i'm excited to go and try it out and i love trying like new little hobbies i feel like it's so fun but I just finished getting ready, ate some lunch. I do wanna have, oh, let me show you guys, actually, I'm so excited about this. So my newest obsession is this coconut cult probiotic yogurt, the chocolate mousse one. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. I haven't tried the original yet, but I've honestly, I've heard it's pretty gross. So I've just been sticking with the chocolate, which I love. But I was so excited because our Whole Foods has never carried this and I just happened to be like walking by the other day and I saw it there and it was also on sale. This yogurt's so expensive. It's normally, I wanna say like $11, but it was on sale for seven. So I figured it was a perfect time to try it out. And I've always wanted to try it. I've just never seen it sold in stores anywhere. I know my friend Emily drives like pretty far to go get it at this like juice place. So shout out Whole Foods. I'm so excited they started carrying this. It says to start with two spoonfuls each morning, but honestly, sometimes I like have it in the evening after dinner and just as a little dessert because it really tastes just like a thick chocolatey mousse. It's so good. And I also just kind of do like one big heaping spoonful. This stuff is like really thick. Yo, It's not like regular yogurt. It's like super thick yogurt and it's just full of probiotics. And it's just literally like so delicious. I can't even tell you. Mm. It's amazing. This wind is so insane. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it sounds like the house is about to blow down. It's so crazy, but I figured now would be a good time to do a Revolve haul. Revolve was nice enough to gift me these items, which can we just take a moment? I feel like this is such a pinch me moment, such a dream of mine. I feel like I truly manifested this and I don't like I just can't even believe they reached out and gifted me these items it is such a dream come true and I feel like it's just from you guys really supporting me um subscribing to my videos liking commenting and just like shopping my links that I put in the description of my vlog so I just want to say thank you to you guys and thank you to Revolve for sending me these items because I'm so grateful and just so excited honestly it just made my entire year so let's go ahead and get started with the haul because each item is so good and you guys are gonna love it starting off with this lovers and friends turtleneck stunning absolutely stunning i love a good turtleneck in the winter i'm actually wearing like a mock neck today this is like a nice fold over turtleneck and i love the in and out weaving of this and i also love like this like wide sleeve i think it's just so pretty i love the neutral color and i feel like this is such a nice piece you can wear it casually or you can kind of dress it up with accessories and wear it out and it's just such a good everyday style this next sweater is so fitting for today because it literally says ski real big on the front which is so fitting because i'm going skiing today and i'm actually contemplating wearing this today but i'm like is it too much to wear a sweater that says ski your first time skiing like is that a little tacky i don't know but i just thought this was so cute so even if i don't wear it today i'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of it again another turtleneck like i said i really love turtlenecks i don't know what it is i also just love the way that necklaces look layered on turtlenecks i feel like it makes your jewelry stand out more and i also just love how it's like a cable knit just such a good everyday style again with this you can like dress it up or wear it casually i feel like i've really been lacking just good basic sweaters in my closet so that's something i'm really trying to focus on and just trying to accept the fact that it is january and it's not getting warmer anytime soon here in ohio but i love this sweater and i have so many ideas on how to style this and how to accessorize and then i did pick out a pair of jeans these are the brand girlfriend denim and these are the bella low-rise boyfriend jeans and let me just say these are one of the most comfortable pairs of jeans i've ever tried on they're not like a super stiff denim they're like super soft and like almost feel spandexy but they are 100 percent cotton i checked because i was like why are these like the most comfortable jeans i've ever put on but i got these in a size 27 and i don't think i said but i got both of the sweaters in a size small and they fit perfect and i also love the fit of these jeans i just got like my typical size and they fit a little loose but just like in the most flattering way possible i've never had 
a pair of like low rise jeans or either a pair that's like a baggy boyfriend fit but i have to say i love these and again just another great style that i can take into the summer as well with like either a bodysuit i could wear a sweater like there's so many different ways and i also love just like the straight leg of it just such a good everyday pair of jeans and these shoes you guys oh my gosh i don't think i'm ever gonna be over these shoes so good so they're by the brand ray let me just open them up are these not the cutest little clogs you've ever seen i like if i had to design a shoe honestly i feel like it would look pretty similar to this it's just so good i love the suede of it and then it's got like the buckle and the shearling trim it's just so cute i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of this i just love these for the winter i think they're so stinking cute and you can wear them with like jeans and I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of these and I just wanna wear them today, but obviously not like the perfect skiing shoe. So not gonna happen, but I'm obsessed. I'm just over the moon happy with everything that I got. So let me know what your favorite item is from the haul. I'm gonna have everything linked down below if you guys wanna purchase, that would be awesome. And if you guys do end up purchasing anything that I showed, make sure to tag me. I just wanna see how you guys style it. And I feel like it's always fun to get inspiration on how other people style. I know even when I like buy things online, I like always go to Pinterest to see how to style it or like just like how other people are accessorizing just for like inspiration. But thank you Revolve. I'm so, so grateful to be working with you and just feels like the best year yet already. All right, skiing outfit of the day. I've got on several layers. The first layer I have underneath for a top is my Skims mock neck. Then I went ahead, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wear my new Revolve Lovers and Friends ski sweater. This thing is so gorgeous. I feel like it looks even better on. And then I went ahead and threw on my Aritzia super puff and then for pants i also layered up for bottoms i have on lululemon leggings underneath and then these snow pants i've had forever but i've just never had a reason to wear them so i'm actually so excited to be going skiing so i can wear my pants which is so silly but they're free people movement and i just love like the patchwork on them i just think they're so cute and then i also i'm going to bring a couple pairs of socks like a pair of regular white ones and then i'm also going to take fuzzy socks to put on over them. So fingers crossed we're warm. So I just realized we have to run in TJ Maxx really quick because apparently I don't have a pair of like thick, good gloves. I just have like soft, normal gloves. I don't have like a good pair of like thick ski gloves. So hopefully TJ Maxx has something. And I think I'm also gonna pick up some dry shampoo on there. So I literally only see one pair. Hopefully they fit their children's XL. So I feel like they might be good. I can't believe this is like the last pair. Let's see. Good news, they're perfect. <laughs> this is also the only dry shampoo I'm seeing. I don't know why the store is like empty right now, I guess just being after Christmas. I'm sure the ingredients are terrible, but I have no dry shampoo. I've been meaning to order the one from Primally Pure, but I keep forgetting, so I'm gonna buy this for now, and then when I get home tonight, I really need to order that one. I've heard good things. I've never tried it, but I've heard really good things. <laughs> out of 10. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like my experience was not as good as your guys's. I, I loved it. You guys had so much longer though. I only went three times. I know. Yeah. I was saying I felt so bad because right when you got there all the kids were there and yeah. then yeah. like when we went down the last time there was like no kids. Mm -hmm. She literally was like oh Leah should have gone now because no one's here. Yeah. No yeah. one's here. No one. Yeah. Literally no one. We'll have to go back. I would do it again. Oh. I feel like yeah, if it was less busy. Yeah. And now I kind of like have an idea. Like going into it, I had absolutely yeah. no mm -hmm. idea of what I was in for. Yeah. Oh, 
I loved it. Like, I want to get a season pass now. I was talking oh to Kyle gosh. the way he, we both were like, oh my god. I know, it's it like, was so much fun. But we are gonna go to Whole Foods. We're getting steak. Yeah, <laughs> Kyle's gonna whip us up I some know. amazing steak. We'll see. He's like <laughs> really into the whole steak thing and just, even if it's bad, just tell him it's good because he's Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be so good. Like, yeah, no. Every it's night he be practices. Good. It's, it's really cute. But then I think we're gonna do like asparagus, mashed potatoes. Watch the Browns game. Yeah. yeah. Stay <laughs> dinner for the Browns game. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. and happy Sunday. It's already pretty late in the day. I didn't bring my vlog camera with me today because the battery was dead and I forgot to plug it in last night. So I figured I'd go ahead and let it charge this morning while we were running around and then I could just come home and vlog the rest of the day. But Spencer and I went to church and then we went to brunch after, which was so yummy. And then we went to a bookstore, which I figured here in a minute, I'll go ahead and show you a little book haul of everything that I got. And then we went to a coffee shop after and I got a mocha and it is so freaking good. But let me show you guys what I got at the bookstore. So we went to Books A Million, which I don't know if they have everywhere or if it's just like an Ohio chain, but I love going there. And they're having like a huge sale right now. So a lot of their books were already on sale. And then I also had a 10 off 50 coupon, which is like amazing. But anyways, as soon as I walked in the door, I saw this book, which I have seen all over TikTok. I've heard it's really good. I'm pretty sure it's just like a romance novel, but it's called Every Summer After and it was only $7. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then when I got to the checkout, I was like five or six dollars short to use my 10 off 50. And so I was like, I'm just gonna go grab another one of the bargain books because it basically is like a free book. But I went ahead and grabbed this one. It's The Hotel Nantucket by Ellen Hildebrand, which I've heard Danielle Carolyn and Brooke Michio talk about this author, and I know they really like her books. I'm pretty sure they're more like summer themed, so I don't know. I may read this sooner, just, I mean, I guess every summer after is probably a summer book too. Maybe I'm just like over the winter, but I figured I'd give it a try. Let me know if you guys have read any of these, but went ahead, picked up a couple fiction books, and then I actually went to Books A Million because I really wanted to get the book, um, The Mountain Is You, which I've heard so many good things about, but I think I'm gonna have to order online because they were sold out. But I went ahead and grabbed this one. It's The Untethered Soul, which I've also heard so many good things about. It's kind of a self-help book. I'll go ahead and read quickly on the back what it's about. All right, so it says, The Untethered Soul begins by walking you through your relationship with your thoughts and emotions, helping you uncover the source and fluctuations of your inner energy. It then delves into what you can do to free yourself from the habitual thoughts, emotions, and energy patterns that limit your consciousness. consciousness. But anyways, I don't know. I've heard so many good things. I'm excited to read it. I love a good self-help book. And then also on sale, I had to pick this up because I thought it was just so pretty and you can never have too many coffee table books. But that's my little book haul. But today's just gonna be like a little Sunday reset. I have a lot of laundry to catch up on, some cleaning, and then I also do wanna make some celery juice for the week. So I'm gonna do that. But first things first, let's get this laundry started. Look what Spencer's been working on while I've been busy cleaning. He put together our new electric standing desk. It looks so good. Yeah, I'm, good. yeah I'm so happy. Spencer actually got me a walking pad 
for Christmas and so we just needed the desk. Um, this is so nice. I'm sure you guys have seen it on TikTok and everything, but you can literally like raise it or lower it depending on where you want it. And it's so nice because then you just have like a mini treadmill where Lucy's laying. <laughs> You'll have a treadmill there and then you can like get your steps in while you're working. And I think it'll be so nice when I'm like editing videos or while we're like posting things to the website. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah, I think the white looks good too. On the wood. Yeah, we're gonna like totally transform this office. I'm so excited. We already have some artwork, but I want to get some like more desk stuff. Like I don't know whether like a bookshelf or we just. Want to feel like stuff too. Yeah, so we we're gonna make it like half office, but also like half home gym. So I was thinking over here, maybe put like a mirror and then get some get like a little basket maybe for like weights. So we'll have that section, and then we obviously will have like the little walking pad here if we want to get some steps in. Why does Lucy look like she's pouting? <laughs> I'm really happy. I feel like this room's gonna look really good once we're done with it. But if you guys have any other ideas on maybe some things we could add to this room. Why are you so cute? <laughs> we should probably make sure this thing works. What do you do? You just click up? Oh, you hold it in. <laughs> Lucy's like, what the heck? Are those like presets maybe? Oh, maybe. This is so cool. Even if you just want to stand, if you're like... Yeah. So we brought the walking pad in. I'm so excited. I think this is going to be so fun. Um, but we're wondering about this canvas that we bought. We may just end up putting it somewhere downstairs because we were saying once we raise the desk, depending on like how... We would have to put it really high because it would end up hitting the canvas unless we were to pull the desk out from the wall. But I'm not sure that we'd want to do that. So... I don't know, we're gonna have to figure something out with that because I feel like this wall is so blank right now. We need something. It's like making yeah. me see stars because it's literally so bright. 